Hey, I'm Kier, and this is that vlog thing that I'm doing. A few more TV shows uh, in the new season. Today, I'm uh, going to look at two uh, new comedies on Fox. Uh, I don't watch a lot of sitcoms anymore. I haven't been exceptionally thrilled by a lot of sitcoms over the last few years, and the handful that I have actually enjoyed have generally been canceled before their first season was out. Uh, notably, from last season was Selfie, uh, which I was really enjoying, and which, as is usually the case, had its best episodes uh, after it had been canceled, uh, and they only showed up on Hulu. So, at least we get to see them, but uh, having another season of that one would have been nice. Today, uh, the, the two new shows are Grandfathered and The Grinder, both on Fox, uh, and both featuring a lot of old, familiar faces. Uh, in the case of Grandfathered, uh, we have John Stamos playing the main character who suddenly discovers um, that he has a, an adult son and a uh, granddaughter. Now, it's the typical character that John Stamos has been playing for a really long time now, which is, of course, part of the joke. Uh, the womanizer, the guy who has never settled down, who doesn't look his age, who doesn't act his age... Uh, who, who is the penultimate ladies' man and player. Uh, he plays that part well. He he's lives that reputation uh, on the screen, uh, and he's been capitalizing on that since the Full House days, uh, which is one of the reasons why a lot of people seem to like him so much, because he's funny. He plays it, and you don't hate him. Uh, <laughs> he manages to pull it off with actual charm. Uh... And this is no different in, in this show. The thing about this show, at least the first episode, is that it seems to have heart. It's not just him being a dick to his adult son and his uh, ex-girlfriend, who is the, uh, the mother of this son, who never told him he existed. So... It's really nice to see this sort of humor done without that cynical edge, without that undercut of disdain and, and uh, just negativity. Uh, that happens a whole lot on a lot of shows, I've noticed. And that's one of the reasons I don't care much for a lot of uh, newer sitcoms, is because there's no real joy in them. There's a lot of insult humor, there's a lot of uh, just snark and undercutting with nothing behind it. Uh, Roseanne is one of my favorite uh, sitcoms from way back, and a lot of people would say, well, hey, Kier, that's full of all sorts of snark and undercutting. And yes, it is, but it's got a lot underneath it. Uh, in Roseanne, you can tell all of those characters actually care about each other, and that's just the way they interact, which is the way a lot of people interact. I know, I've seen them, I hang out with some of those people, I'm not necessarily one of those people, but I get along when I know that that's how someone interacts, uh, and that's, that's what you had then in a lot of other shows, that's not what you get. You just get people being mean with a laugh track. And I'm really not cool with that because there's enough mean people out in the world to begin with. And I don't need that thrown back at me on TV. I don't need that encouraged in the people watching the shows. Grandfathered manages to avoid that trap. Sure, there's things that uh, John Stamos does as Jimmy that, that are questionable, uh, but it's all because they make it very clear he doesn't know any better. But more importantly, he's actually trying to be better. And there's a couple other little twists that come up in the 22 minutes of the episode that really... Uh, underscore how much heart this show could have. So it's got heart and it's got humor. I'm good with that. I like that. John Stamos plays well. The rest of the cast looks like they're going to be pretty good. It's got Paget Brewster in it, and I always love seeing her on the screen again. Um, 
It's it's also got uh, Christina Milan and Josh Peck in it, which uh, which is really nice. Uh, they look like they're going to have some good uh, screen time together, and uh, the the su- rest of the supporting cast in in Jimmy's restaurant uh, look like they're going to be a lot of fun. So there's a lot of fun to be had in this show, as long as it doesn't devolve down into insult humor and other uh, negativity. Uh, so check that one out. Not exactly a family sitcom, but for uh, teenagers and older, I'd say it's it's pretty good. The second show uh, is also on Fox, uh, and it also features uh, some old familiar faces. It's The Grinder, starring Rob Lowe, Fred Savage, Mary Elizabeth Ellis, and uh, William Devane. Uh, William Devane uh, has done a lot of great stuff in his career. I love the fact that he can do comedy as well as he can do uh, solid drama. Devane is just a supporting character. The lead uh, leads in the show are Rob Lowe and Fred Savage. Uh, now, Rob Lowe has had a long and storied career. Uh, he lived the Sex, Lies, and Videotape movie. Uh, he, he made a comeback in comedy and sitcoms. He's, he's gotten a really good uh, feel for uh, comic timing and, again, playing off his good looks and his reputation in the real world, uh, as well as pretty much every other character he's played before. In this one, he plays an actor who just spent uh, a bunch of years playing a lawyer on television. Now, the twist here is his lawyer show has just ended, and his father and brother are both real lawyers. So he's come home, and his brother, played by Fred Savage, is pretty much exactly the opposite of Rob Lowe's character. He is not suave. He is not debonair. He is a family man. He, he is a hard worker. He is a decent lawyer, but he's not flashy. He doesn't speak well in front of crowds. He runs his cases off of index cards. It makes for some good humor. Um, and it also makes for that fantastic contrast where Rob Lowe decides, uh, Rob Lowe's character decides what he really needs to do is get into the family practice of law. And that's where it looks like this series is really going to play with your standard uh, lawyer show tropes, with uh, the whole family dynamic of having the golden boy and the uh, more sensible brother, and the... uh, rest of the family pretty much playing uh, the supporting roles in this are going to be uh, both building up Fred Savage's character and completely fawning over uh, Rob Lowe's character uh, alternately, which is going to be an interesting dynamic that may get the show into some trouble. Uh, Again, what makes this work is that it's got heart. And Rob Lowe plays that sort of thing really, really well. He's another guy, no matter how horrible the character could be, he manages to get you to care about that character, to like that character, or to at least be concerned about that character. And the writing of this show plays with that nicely. It comes across as genuine, it doesn't come across as convoluted or forced. Uh, And so again, definitely check this one out. Uh, Pretty much the teen and older uh, group here. Uh, There's not a lot of stuff in it for young kids. There's also not a lot of stuff in this one so far that would be problematic for kids. Uh, It would just be kind of boring. Because the the humor relies on understanding little bits about those family dynamics and about the way stuff works in a real courtroom as opposed to the way stuff works in a TV courtroom. And I'm looking forward to a lot more jokes like that because that was played wonderfully in the first episode. So, again, check this one out. They're both on Fox. Uh, I'll be watching them for another few episodes at least. I don't know how long I'll keep them around. I tend not to... uh, 
stick with a lot of sitcoms, uh, I just don't have time for it, and most of them aren't good enough for me uh, to stick with. But I'm also watching a lot more TV than most people, so time, there's only so much. That's it for tonight. Um, thanks for uh, thanks for tuning in. If you uh, have if you liked what you saw, hit the like button down there. If you uh, want to subscribe to all of this, uh, hey, that would be fantastic. Hit the subscription button uh, and then hit the gear so you can be sure to be getting all all your notifications via email. Uh, and if there's any uh, one else you think you might be interested in seeing this. Uh, share this video out there. Uh, in the comments, uh, tell me about your favorite lawyer shows. Tell me about your favorite sitcoms. I want to hear. Uh, I want to hear what you guys have watched over the years and what works for you and what doesn't work for you when it comes to sitcoms. Uh, and if there's other things you want me to talk about, let me know down there. Also, there's also a link that'll uh, take you to a form you can fill out to uh, let me know what you think. So that's it for tonight. Uh, I'm Kier, and I guess I'll see you tomorrow.